Hello, I'm Kyle. I'm the technical content developer at Maple Systems. Welcome to the Maple Systems video training series. In this video, I will be showing you how to get the analog input reading for a pressure sensor using a two wire setup. In MapWare 7000, I'll be using an HMC 4000 series, specifically the HMC 4070. Set up an IEC ladder diagram with an HMC3 M1212P0200 IO module configured with 4 to 20 milliamps. Here is an example of a two wire diagram for a pressure sensor. You can also find this on the 4 to 20 milliamp analog input tutorial page on the Maple Systems website. Now let's get started. Go to New, HMC, HMC 4070, IEC language, hit OK, hit OK again. Now you can configure your I.O. So go to I.O. Allocation, Expansion, Slot 1, right click, hit Edit. For Model, we're going to select HMC 3 m 1212 p 0 200 v2 check off download configuration settings hit configure and under analog we're going to select input channel 0 in this case and type is going to be 4 to 20 milliamps now by default 4 to 20 milliamps is selected in analog input channel 0 and 1 so hit confirm hit close hit ok now let's add some tags. Go to the tags folder, add tag, register type, real, pressure, real, hit add. Let's make another one called pressure scaled, register type, real, hit add. Now that you've created your tags, can now create a logic block to convert the raw data into real data. Go to the logic block folder, select main, right click, new logic block, select ladder diagram, and let's call this scale raw data. Hit OK. Now you will first need to add a conversion called any to real, uh, convert to real data. Grab that function over here by its folder, drag it over to rung one. For the input, we're going to select plot one, channel zero, analog input register. And where it says Q, which is the output, double click, and we'll use the tag we created called pressure real. Next, you'll need to add another function, which is under the maths folder called scale in, which is scaling linear conversion. Drag it over to rung one. For the input, you're going to use the same tag pressure real for your minimum will be zero the maximum according to the HMC 3000 IO module guide for this IO module the maximum is 64,000 the reason why I have the IMAX set to 64,000 is because the analog input channel is a 16-bit input, meaning the value can be from 0 to 65,355. But in Mapware, we limit it to 64,000 so the input channel can safely detect under and over current scenarios. When the input current is 20 milliamps, the raw reading will show 64,000. Please refer to the cross-reference table shown in the HMC 3000 IO module guide to know what values correspond to what input current or input voltage. Now for the output, based on the PSI for the pressure sensor that I am using, the output minimum 
will be set to zero and the output max will be set to 100. And finally, for the scaled output, we will select the other tag we created called pressure scaled. And that's all the logic you'll have to create to convert the raw data to real data. To make sure this is going to work, let's click the compile button. And as you can see, there are no errors detected. Now that you've created your logic, we can now create a base screen where you'll be able to view your raw data and your scaled data. And I'll show you how to do that. I've created a base screen here and I called it scale raw data. And I created some text. Uh, the raw pressure data is based on the raw analog input from a pressure transducer to wire setup. And for the raw value, I put raw channel zero register value and for the scaled value, scaled real tank pressure. To view the raw value, you'll create a numeric data display. Go to draw. Display objects, data display, numeric display. And let's make this a little bigger. Let's make it 18 bold. And it's going to be unsigned. And we're going to grab the tag slot one, channel zero, analog input register. For the scaled value, we're gonna do the same thing. Go to draw, display objects, the data display, numeric display. Uh, for the scaled data, you need to change the data type to float. You can see there, you can't see float. In order to see the data type float, you'll need to change the tag name first so let's take the pressure scaled tag, hit OK. And for data type, you'll choose float. And for the scaled value, you want to change the format to one digit after decimal point and three digits. So now it'll show two digits before the decimal and one after the decimal. Now I want to create some text to indicate that this is the real data for the PSI. To do that, go to Draw, Graphical Objects, Multilingual Text. Let's change this to 14 bold. Let's get rid of the background transparency, change to yes and change the text to PSI. Now you can go online. Go to mode, go online with download. And if you are downloading for the first time, make sure you have firmware checked off. In this case, I already downloaded once. So I'll just need to uncheck this and check off application. Hit download. And it may take a few seconds for the application to load on the screen. Once that happens, you'll see in the compile window it says run. And now you know that it's working properly. After you have downloaded and gone online, this is what your screen on your HMC should look like. As you can see, the raw data is about 32,000. And the scaled data for the PSI is reading about 50. This concludes the video. To get more information, please visit the 4 to 20 milliamp analog input tutorial page on the Maple Systems website. Thank you for watching.